family, friends, educators, students, gamers, welcome, Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get our grump on in Banished. Sometimes I think you guys are here to get your grump on. Here we go. Resume. Well, let's um, well, let's do some reverse business. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you do subscribe to my channel, please tell 10 people. If you don't know 10 people, tell five people twice. Infomercial is over. There we go. Let's move on. Hey guys, I discovered a new banished player who's playing with mods. So I want to give a shout out to gamer Diz His Redbeard. And I'm going to spell that for you because you'll never get it. It's D I Z H I Z Redbeard, one word. And it looks like he's running his second banished game. His first one was Vanilla Banished, but he manned up and actually is attempting a modded game now. And I'll tell you right now, if you want to earn my sub, play Modded Banished. And I'll you you just, you won me over. Anyway, so uh, Diz his Redbeard. And the Diz is a play on Disney because he has a uh, podcast and he, I guess he works with a couple other people and um, they do the, uh, the Disney thing. So anyway, am I ready for this episode? No. Am I ever ready? No. Do I know that I missed nomads in my last episode? Yes, I do. Uh, let's try not to miss them and let's get our people running. This is basically going to be a, um, let's just, let's do something with what we already have. So let's, what are you bringing us? Uh, Permission, seaweed, and linen. Thank you very much. Don't need it. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and start getting our reed industry going. And I'm going to start, since we're sh still short on labor force, I'm going to shut these two down because I don't want people going in there. This one, I'm going to go open it up with reeds. And this over here, I'm going to go ahead, switch my fire bundles to rope. And this begins our rope industry, which is good because rope is actually worth 35 units a piece in the trading posts. And rope, along with fabric, is something that I do trade. So I want to I want to start building up our rope inventory. Uh, the people who are going to be working here are more likely than not going to be living right here. I mean, in a perfect world. Make sure these are both houses. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Good. So, remember, if you're running tiny shacks in your game, always, always upgrade your shacks to tiny houses. Because that's the difference of housing three citizens and four citizens. And four citizens is actually going to allow you to raise two kids at a time rather than waiting for that one kid to turn 10 to move out before you can have your second one. Okay, how are we doing with domesticated? We're doing well. Let's do a quick... A quick check here. Blueberries 250. It is time to, to make some cider, baby. So here we go. Open that up. There's our cider maker. How are we doing with oats? Oats is nothing, so we don't need to open the stables. But you know something that I do want to open? How's our storage doing? 50%. And notice I'm checking the market for my storage. Uh, that's because I use my markets as a storage facility. Other storage facilities that we have are this one over here. And that's doing okay. It is filling up with fish, which it should. And that's our woodcutter. Woodcutter, we're still doing good. I'm not ready for a second 
blacksmith or or tailors yet. I did want to drop in that one tailor up here and change it to a thatch roof. Drop as he's oh, and that's a road, so that's cool. I'm cool with that. Boom, drop it in, and I'm gonna let them build that at their leisure. You know, we may as well get the bee shelter going as well because that's going to get us um, a nice trio of royal jelly, which is used for healing, beeswax, which is going to be used for candles, and doggone it. Doggone it. The only thing that's going to put my mind at ease is if the chandlery is deeper than is deeper than four. On oh, nuts on a biscuit. Okay, I'm frustrated now. I am actually going to do something I hate doing. I'm going to just I'm I'm going to level this tavern, the Pilgrim's Rest, because the the road print here is a single. I had to go over one to clear the well. The chandlery has a double footprint, so it'll butt right up against the well nicely. So against my better judgment, and gosh, I hate doing this, but I'm going to do it. The nice thing is we're going to get some resources back from this. Uh-oh, we're at that threshold here that we got to watch out. And there's some other things I wanted to do as well. For instance, um, I think I'm going to extend this road out and bring it down to this well here. I don't want to do it yet, though, because we I need them to concentrate on the buildings. So let's go ahead and put a priority on this. But notice I only did it once that time. And there goes our labor pool. Oh, cool. It's down already. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay. And here we go. I need the chandlery first. So let's do this. Let's come up here the chandlery and I'm going to butt that. See how it's got the double foot there? It goes into the well. So it's going to go. I just want to make sure that there's no other skins for this one. So F, 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 F. Nope, that's it. Okay, make it happen. Cha-ching, you're going in there. Now, let's go ahead and take back the Pilgrim's Rest, which is this one. And do you have different skins? Because you look darker now. Nope, you don't have different skins. Pilgrim's Rest. It would almost be kind of cool to keep it right there. You know what, though? Do we need to go that far over? If I go here, I do not... No, there's really no need to. Right there. My Ring of Influence is catching those four. And what do we got here? Or I can come right off of there and put it there and I'm still catching those four I'm, you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go over a little I'm going to keep it on this side because it's just the two taverns are kind of playing off each other to create a large to create a large what do you call it um ring of influence so here we go now what's gonna fit here and i'll tell you what i want to put there but i don't know if i'm going to uh, i want to put in a smokehouse and you're probably thinking grumpy what the heck are you thinking <laughs> and that would be a fair assessment on your part and why do i not have logs Probably because all of our logs are being chopped up by a woodcutter. And then that's going to free up another laborer, which is good. So doggone it. Give me some, 
give me some stoof and should we uh, let's uh, force clear some more resources here because just because we can so start here and we'll just do a quick run over to that node and clear out that and we can drop down a little bit lower here and we'll just do it quick uh, let's go all the way across oh I didn't want to go up into the node nuts on a biscuit well to avoid that just stay on the road stay on the road and come across and uh, that's way that's <laughs> a bigger bite than I wanted that's probably a decent amount of resources right there so let's grab those and then that's gonna get us some trees rather quickly I'm gonna hit pause here because I want to see what's in our trading docks no and if you guys remember from the Appalachian run that we did season two, gold is not, I mean, this gold ore is worth more than a gold gilder. I mean, go figure. Raw, raw ore is worth more than manufactured gold. So will I ever deal in gold again? No. Unless somebody throws a challenge out there to the banished players and it has a gold uh, quest in it, I will never deal with gold again. So I dismiss you. What do you got? Well, this is good that you're bringing food, but I would much rather have seeds. So dismiss you. All right, let's go. Uh, they're going to get these built rather slowly because what's happening here is as they are filling the, oh, well, this might actually go quicker than I thought. As they're filling the stockpiles, and I'm actually going to go with two builders. Blueberries, now we're down to 46. We can almost stop. We got enough stockpiles over here, even though I'm probably going to drop another stockpile behind the market just to keep the theme going. We got market stockpile here. Oh, do we have something behind there? A deer butcher. Yeah, we'll work with a deer butcher. As a matter of fact, we will work with a deer butcher. Sooner than later. Here we go. Let's make this happen, baby. So we got this done. How are our roots doing? Roots, roots, 67. Uh, yeah, we could put somebody in there, but you know what? I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them go for a while. I want the channel rebuilt so that when our B thing over here starts producing, then we can start using the royal jelly to make candles. Otherwise, if you go, see, there are, let's slow this down because I don't want to hit pause all the time. But if you come into foods, you've got two of these. These are the small ones, the little four by ones. This one here makes the combination randomly produces honey, honeycomb and jelly. And this is the one I'm running now because it's going to give us medicine. It's going to give us honey and it's going to give us wax. This is the one I always used in the past because you get to choose. Do you want honey, honeycomb or jelly? I always ran these as straight honey. But the problem is it will just overload your your storage barns with honey. They produce a lot. So I am going to actually let the game randomly throw these things in there. And I'm going to make three different commodities with, um, we're going to do the three. Oh, I had a trader in there. Yo, buddy, come on out. No, you are out of there. Where is my trader? You must have gone somewhere. How about if we do this? You go back in. I got an idea. 
Let's do this and come down to Trader. No, nope, go away. Come down to Trader. Trader, 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 Trader. Right there. Free them. What's our labor count look like? Three and two. Good, good, good. So they're going to go ahead. They're going to deliver the resources here. I can already see that I need logs. So I need logs. I need lumber for this. I need lumber for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sawmill back into operation. And just to make sure that they, he actually goes to the sawmill and not to these yards, I'm going to shut those down because they use the same people. And let's put somebody in here. Boom. And now this guy is going to slowly make lumber. And you know what? I'm all right with the slow build. Because that's the whole theme about this, this little town here is we're minimalists. We're using the very, ba we're basically living off our land. And as you can tell here, some of the other things that we're going to be making, for one, the smoker, because we're going to smoke some mushrooms. And once again, you guys are probably smiling at that. And then Rose Hips down here, we're actually going to open up a preservist, a jam shop. And we're going to make some jam with the rose hips. The root beer, that's still styling pretty well. As a matter of fact, uh, you know what the, What we need for, the, for jam is sugar. So we need to either get the sugar cane growing or we need to get the sugar beets. And, but once we get sugar into production, then we can start making the jam. So these two are going to slowly get built up. It's just a matter of when that lumber comes in, and I wish I would have caught that sooner. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the stone road from here. I want to come down onto my well. Oh, no. It's not coming straight down. Is that going to bother me? It might. It might. Oh, no. Let's... Let's toy with this. I'm almost thinking maybe taking my butcher and going over here. I don't know. Doggone it. That really upset me. A mead brewer. Yeah, we're going to open up the mead brewer because once we get honey coming in, I need nomads. Let's get this thing running so I can get my nomads in. I also want them to build the channelry. Um, let's get a um, priority on that. I don't know why I did that again. Uh, tools were doing good. Clothing were doing good. We're out of firewood, surprisingly. Um, I think we're going to go with, with this woodcutter over here. So let's put in a woodcutter. He's going to make us some firewood. I'm also getting to that age, not that age, I'm getting to that point where I want to max out the um, our forest nodes with people. Ropes? We got any ropes in yet? We don't have any ropes in yet. Oh, that's because, oh my gosh, where did this guy go? Dock workers. What do we got for dock workers? One. That's why. There we go. Now we got two in there. Now we're going to get ropes. Take one guy out so I have this cushion because I don't want to lose my three uh, students. Come on, nomads. I know I missed them last time. I'm really going to start, you know, glancing over more often. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with this build, we have two things that are going to bring nomads in. Oh, man, this is driving me bonkers. I think I am going to uh, 
how how are these stockpiles over here? Do, uh, I'm not even. Am I running stockpiles down in a conveyor belt thing? I am not. Maybe I'll do that. Deer, let's put in another deer butcher just so I can see where it's going to go. Deer butcher, because right here was one option. And then that's going to leave me that space right there, which is going to drive me nuts. And regardless of where I go, I mean, I could go all the way up there with the deer butcher. But that's pretty far away from civilization. But you know what? Maybe the butcher is such a dirty job that that might be a good place for it. Let's do it. And it's a it's kind of centralized between the... Yeah, we're going to do this. This is our deer butcher now. Let me go ahead and fill in all the... So this one is four across. Boom, it is two deep. So we're going to go like that. Then it's got an entrance right there. And if you come up to here, this one goes over two. There, that, that fills in all the little gaps that this thing has. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, I see nomads. We're, you know what? Before anything else even happens, I'm going to allow them in. Open borders, baby. And are they at Annabelle's statue? They sure are. Annabelle has attracted some nomads to come. They come to pay their homage, and we're going to allow them in. Okay, Annabelle, good job. Okay, now we got to build some housing for these people. But first, before I forget, I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to first get rid of the butcher itself. And now I got to get rid of the roadage that they built there. And we need to figure out what we're going to do. I, you know what we might do? I don't want to run a, f a freaking animal pen, right? How far does this one come? Right to there. Yeah, so see, nothing is going to fit nicely in there. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll just swallow it and deal with it. And then if we do those, another stockpile right behind the market, yeah. Because that that's going to drive me nuts. I know. My OCD is already kicking in, and I can feel it. Channelry. Let's, okay, we need a home for these people. Housing check. Families, 14. Oh, my gosh, we have an excess of homes. Okay. No homeless here. Let's, um, do we need to force them into a house? What are you doing? You know what? Let's, let's see if he moves out. I probably should build a, um, I should probably build a boarding house. But you know what? We really, oh, we really don't need, ah, uh, no, I didn't want do that that's a wrong combination let's get rid of them and let them run reclaim it come on give me a good couple give me a good couple to move in here well somebody's going to move in we're just going to have to wait and see who Okay, what do you look like? You are a good couple. You are a good family. You, uh, I hate to do this to you, old timer, but there's a chance that there are others who can use that house more than you need it. What do we got going on here? That's not a good couple either. Holy nuts on a biscuit. 
let's get rid of it and reclaim it what do you got going on you're a good yeah that student should be ready to move out too okay close that so let's keep an eye on who moves into there we'll come over here how do you look you're a good couple oh my god these are all old people so they're gonna they're oh my gosh my population is old you guys are not a decent family oops and let's um reclaim that what do you got going on you're decent yeah you're gonna get somebody you got to get that female that comes in so let's uh let's keep an eye on them there we go what's going on here oh man i obviously have an excessive number of males in this Man, we must have some testosterone going on here. Where are all the females? Doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's work with it. So let's stop here. Let's okay. This is our dear butcher, so we're gonna put you up to here. Can we manufacture anything? How are we doing? Blueberries are eight. Oh my gosh, check out this apple count, people. And uh, Derpy, Derpy Moose 99. This is the apple of, basically the apple forest node at work now. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at it over here. And we're coming on up. And what we got going on here, I'm going to let it roll because I'm really, I want to get something done here. So this is the apple forester. He's planting all the apple trees in this area. The gatherer is the one. See, if you look at what this guy gathered, he's just gathering the raw resources that are in this node, not gathering apples, which is why you got to build a gathering hut. The gathering hut is the one that actually gets the apples along with everything else that's in this node. So he works as a normal gathering hut and, oh my gosh, do I have nomads at the town hall? Pause. So these are the apples right here, 345 in the season. But look at all this other stuff that we're gathering. And that's why our oats count is up there. That's why our blueberries is up there. The roots, we're going to smoke the mushrooms. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like, this is going to be like Woodstock, the, the rainbow gathering here. This is such a really cool little minimalistic build where we're just living off the land. Yeah, we're a bunch of granola eating tree huggers out here. So, and then we got the hunters here that we haven't even activated yet. So once we activate the hunters, that's going to bring more venison and duck meat coming in, which more venison and duck meat means more feathers, get the reeds going. Then you got survival coats, which helps the fabric industry. And oh my gosh, this is like heaven on earth. Anyway. What do we got going on? Let's the roots. Do we got roots? We've got roots. Make root beer. There we go. Put somebody in. Cha-ching. What else do we have? Do we have oats? We do have oats. Give me my domesticated animals. Cha-ching. Oh, wait, where are my nomads? Ah, They're not there. Maybe that was from the ones that were here. I would hate to think I missed them again. Spring. I think those are the ones that we just got. Well, there's a way to find out. Spring 20. Yeah, those were the ones we just had. So cool. I, I'm not upset now. I probably would have blown a gasket if we missed them. What do you got? 
No, you're not bringing me anything I want. What do you got? No, you're not bringing me anything I want. Here we go. No nomads. Go back to inventory because I always like to see what I got on hand. So we're making domesticated animals. We're making root beer. Do we got blueberries? No, we don't. So you know what? Because we don't have blueberries, I'm going to... Oh, there's nobody working there. Uh-oh. And why do you have a question mark? A brewer. Cha-ching. No more brewer. And, oh, mate, go away. Don't want to track you. All right. Look at that. We got milk coming in. We got wool coming in. We are styling. You know what we might want to do? We might want to get some more of our tailors in. No, I need variety. Gosh, that I really wish. Oops, didn't want to hit that. I really wish that would have been more nomads because that would have been cool. All right, this is going up. Actually, two builders. Build it faster. And since that has a second road to it, let's come down here and just do that across. Oh, you, did I go? Might as well get this button. Good. Right there. Boom. Stone. We got a lot of stone. I'm almost wondering if we should open up some wells. Yeah, let, let's let's build some wells and get some more happiness in our air. It's not like we need happiness. You know what we might want to throw in as an herbalist? And the reason I want to throw an herbalist in is just see if we can bump this four and a half back up to five. Oh, I do have an herbalist. Okay. So something's missing from our diet. Oh, the channelry's going in. So that means I'm going to need, I'm going to need some uh, bee stuff coming in. So let's go ahead and get the honey count going. Firewood. Oh, you are making firewood. What are you bringing? Trade horses. No, I don't deal with trade animals. Okay, so here we go. We can make it out of beeswax. We can make it out of whale blubber. Or we can make it out of tallow. And we don't have tallow yet. But I think once we get our... Once we get our butcher running, I think we're going to get tallow. And how's our venison count doing? We do have venison. So you know what? Let's throw in a... I'm going to throw in a butcher already. And that's going to get us some nice venison cuts. And I don't know if it's going to make sausage or not, but... All right, look at these students coming in, and we're getting laborers. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it, uh -huh. All right, we're not ready for candles yet. I'm going to let the saw pit continue to make lumber because I want to get a little bit of inventory in. The mead brewer, I'm going to go ahead and build that already. Because this is a simple thing that creates mead. And I know this is going to get Derpy excited. Because that's actually going to be the third tavern we have in town. Well, Brewer Tavern. Uh, you're, yeah, he's from the Pacific Northwest. So they know all about brewing up there. So. Do, 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 do. Ale houses. I don't have my my Hood River glass that my uh, my brother-in-law got for me when we went up there. Lettuce seeds. There's our salad bar, baby. Yes. And notice it didn't come on the general trader. It came on the mini one. So the mini trader will have livestock and seeds, but that general trader still won't. Uh, we are going to take this, so let me go ahead and open it up for business. I'm already going to put a trader in. Wait, do we even have room? Yeah, we do. And now, what am I going to dump in there? Let's do the same thing we did last time. Let's go ahead and take those linen claws. Oh, man, we're almost going to run that to zero. What do we got by quantity? Do, 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 do. Wow. 
Derpy, you're not going to believe it, man. We're going to open another tavern. Yeah, man, we're, we're going to oh, shoot. There's a job. What's it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Kindergarten. I don't think so. Oh, but awesome teacher. Um, don't do kinder. Apples. Yeah, man, we're going to make some apple cider out of that. Wool. I don't do this raw material because it's worth much more to make something out of it. But I am going to take the 250 linen cloths. I'm almost wondering. No, that won't go evenly. If we're going to do 20, 20 would be uh, 100, 100, 500, um, 125. Do I have 125 wool coats? Wool coat, wool coat, wool, wool coat, warm coats. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, we'll do the linen. Because, yeah, inventory. So we're going to go back to the linen cloth. We're going to put in 250 of those because that's going to give me my 2,000. And then using the grumpy math that we used last time. Hey, Candy. Using grumpy math that we used last time, it was 20 of these or was it 25? We need 500. It's 250. 25, baby. Do, 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 do. Bring them in and go to this button here. Let's watch this guy bring them in. Is there anything else we could be doing right now while he brings those? Do, 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 do. We're not going to have enough this in. Yeah, I want to start looking at this stuff to see what we can do. What we're going to probably do since I'm out of the blueberries here. No, this one's for roots. Can you use apples? Yes, you can. You make ale from apples. Do you use apples? Yes, you do. So actually, if we're running out of blueberries and out of roots, we can kick both of these into apple brewers. And that, seeing that number of apples come in, that's easily going to supply the small map that we have going on. We're not building anything, so I'm going to, you know what, no, I want to keep building just because I'm, insane in this game and that's what i do if even if i don't have anything to build i want to build something i'm second guessing this yeah i don't know you know what i'm gonna find something to go in there even if it's a decoration which i don't do i do not decorate i am not Susie homemaker so if you come here to learn tips on decorating, you come to the wrong place. There we go. So, but what we can do here now is I can start the agriculture. And where do we want? I almost wanted to build right above here. And I don't know how far across. So I need a road. And I'm not going to place this. I just want to see what I got here. From there, I need 23, 21. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. How far is it all the way across? 44. That, if I built four in a row, that would work. As a matter of fact, yeah. And I'm going to do it above the center point. So let's take out that road. And I'm actually going to come up here and we're going to go. Gosh darn it. I don't want to do that though because I wanted to continue this. Oh, man. That's why I don't like building on the fly. I don't like it. No likey, unless I go smaller fields, which is not going to maximize my return. If I went, let's see, 44 
10 by 10, 10 by 10, 10 by 10, 10 by 10, and that leaves me four roads in the middle. One, two, no, it doesn't, three, and I don't know if that would be my fourth one over there or not. No, don't want it. I don't want it. Let me let me chew on that one for a while. Okay, we're almost here. Come on, bring those in. Mead Brewer? Yeah, let's build this thing. Why aren't we building it? Okay, what else we got? Come on, Nomads? Oh my gosh, I can't see my... My sign here, did, it, did we miss them? Nope. Spring. Oh, I thought spring 20 we had nomads. I don't know. Yeah, spring 20 we had nomads come in. There they are. There's our stuff. So let's go ahead and put in 25 of those. 2d5. Let's go ahead and put in 250 of these, 2d5. Let's go ahead and select one of those. And oh my God, the old man can still impress us. It's impressive that the old man just has a memory and he remembered that combination. So here we go. Trade it. Cha-ching. Dismiss it. Cha-ching. And close you down. Take your stuff out of inventory. And we are done, son. Now we got beans and lettuce. I don't even really have the people to work in the fields. Lumber 12, we can still do a little bit more lumber than that. God, we got children being born. This is awesome. Still got a good count there. We have a housing surplus, which is a good thing. I am thinking about bringing my stockpiles down into the town. And I think I'm going to do that. Just like the conveyor belt that we have on the other side, I think maybe we're going to do that over here. I don't have a forester in here, which is probably why we're not getting anything. But let's, um, you know what? If the, We'll put it in if we need it. I was going to go ahead and put in another tailor. How are we doing with survival suits? Reed's 90. We are getting rope in already, so that's good. Feathers, 100. You know, I think we're ready for survival coats. And I think survival coats are 15 a piece. So let's do you with survival. And then the only other coat that we really build are the I don't have the labor force but since you have nobody there I'm going to shut you down to Ching I'm going to open you up and then that guy should run over here he should unless I got another tailor running somewhere Tailors, how many we got? Tailors are two out of three. Oh my gosh, he ran north. He ran up to here. And you're going to make wool coats. Just because we're getting an excessive number of wool. And I'm actually going to let you build wool coats. It would really be nice if they had an... Uh, an AI built into this game that if something runs out of material that that person will go to another like building to do the same. Mead Brewer is almost done. Okay, who's our excessive person up here? A trader. Oh, of course it's a trader. We never pulled them. Trader, trader, trader. Boom, there you go. And get rid of that. Now, how we, uh, there's our 45. Gosh, I wanted a more exciting episode than this. 
but at least we got to give a shout out to a new Banish player. And uh, I I hope he appreciates it. He, he didn't, I didn't ask permission. I kind of took that on my own and, you know, but I don't know. I, I like to share <coughs> with others. If I can send one or two viewers to, to his channel, then I think it was a good shout out. Um, let's see what else is going on here. The wells. We got a lot of stonage. Oh my gosh, did they build that? Well, I guess it was... Well, well. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get some well action going. Because that, that's going to increase some happiness. And maybe happy bannies will be productive bannies. Maybe they'll even be reproductive bannies and get us some more people. Wouldn't it be cool to get one more batch of nomads in before we ended this episode? So that was our 45. So we have a little bit of ways to go. We let this guy run, but we've only got two. Let's do a quick head count here. Apples. I think we're going to go ahead and kick one of our taverns over to apples. Blueberries. How we doing? Blueberries. Wah, wah, wah. Let's 68. How we doing with root? Let's go by name. It's easier to find the stuff. Root, root, root. 65. Well, not much better. Okay, let, let's, as long as you're already in there, kick you over to Apple. There we go. And shut you down. Okay, Mead Brewer, here we go. That's going to make mead from honey. Do we have any honey in stock? We sure do. Look at this. The honey is going in. Royal Jelly, we don't have any yet. But the people might be grabbing that, and we just don't see it. And then the comb honey, which will eventually go in to make the um, candles. So I'm going to shut you down right now, because actually I'm going to do this. Otherwise, somebody's going to run into you. Saw pit, how are we doing with lumber? 22? You know what? I, I think that's good. I'm going to shut you down. I'm going to pull you. Because we can use you someplace else. I wasn't looking for... Did I miss Nomads? Spring 20. Nope, that's still Spring 20. You know what might help a little bit? Let's speed this up. Oh my god, they're going to get the wells built. How about two builders? Let's bang them together faster. Are we out of firewood again? We sure are. Gosh darn it. And I got a firewood cutter. So go figure. What's going on here? Well, <laughs> there's our wells. Hey, one's built. That's cool. If we need firewood, let's go ahead and open up a second. Boom. All right. Now we'll get firewood on both sides. That's going to go up. And I, like I said, I really want to fill out our nodes with people. Domesticated. I got it. I'm still waiting for domesticateds to go up. Chestnuts. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you, but no thank you. Wow, this is interesting, man, because... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, we do have a laborer. Good. Cemetery, how we doing? 10 out of 48? All right. We can live with that. We can live with that. Oh, yeah. Doggone it, that salad bar is going to bother me. Where do we want to build our, our agriculture? Do I want to go this far north with it? Or do I want to build in here? You know what? I'm probably going to go this far north with it. Only because I want to maybe put more housing in down here. And I was going to put a freaky... Oh, wow. How far over can we come? 
Oh, we'll be able to come all the way over. Actually, if we go north, we're actually going to come down from here. So we're not even going to play off of the middle. Well, no, this is what we were looking at. So we're actually shortening our agriculture area. Oopsies. Can we divide this in two? Let me do some more grumpy math here. Right there is it an odd number. It is not an odd number. So I can't run a road between it, but I can put two 12 by 12s in. Which I think we might do. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do two 12 by 12s. Not what I wanted to do, but it's going to get us something. Lettuce and beans. I think I'm going to go beans on this side. And then we'll go lettuce over here. And that's kind of the order that we brought everything in. So El Crapo Fieldo. We're going to come over here right in the corner. We're going to... Oh, is it 24 across? This is 21 across. Hmm. So that's going to give me a 10, a 10, and a road running down the middle. Or I move the road over one, and then I get two 11 by 11s next to each other. And then over here, if I moved it over one, we would have 21. Which would be a 10 by 10. No, right now we're 11 and 11. You know what? Let's make it happen over here. Whoops. There's my road. Come down one. So if I go 11 by 11, there's one. And then I'm going to come over. I know I could have just dropped over, but I want to get up in the corner here. Right there, there. Another 11 by 11. Okay, make it happen. I don't normally put the um, crop fields next to each other. I always like to run a uh, road in between them. But we'll see how it works. Crop fields, you can always take them out again. Well, you know, oh, there's my nomads. We did it. And then I got to end this episode like quickish. Otherwise, I'm going to go over my hour. So here we are. Are they here? Yes, there are five of them. Open borders, baby. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, this is the land of Dhaka. So here we go. Let's go ahead. And that's it, man. We done what we wanted to do. I, I would have liked to have built more, but I'm, we're getting a feel of where this is going. Let's go ahead and equal this field out. And then we'll, do they need a home? Nope. Families, 19. Homes, 18. Yes, I got to build one more home somewhere. I still don't know if I'm going to let this live or not. It's going to frustrate the heck out of me. But we'll play it by ear and see what happens. So with that said, you guys, I am Grumpy Gnome. I am out of here. If you like this episode, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a sympathy like anyway. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you do subscribe, please tell 10 people. If you don't know 10 people, tell five people twice. I'm Grumpy Gnome. I'm out of here. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on, make it within an hour and stop.